Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitech Social this side and this is continuation of Power BI tutorial. So today we are going to discuss about the line chart in the Power BI. So go to on the Power BI desktop and we'll see in the practical. So this is our project by which currently we are working on. So inside the visualizations you can find the line chart. So let me click on that and here let me increase the size of this. So here you can see the access legend value and the secondary value. So first of all, you need to understand about the access. So this access is the X axis and the value that will be our Y axis and in the legend that will be defined by lines. So for example, let's assume we have five countries. So we wanna five lines in our chart. So country name should be go inside the legend. So here you can see the country. So this should be drag and drop in the legend. Next in the axis, we want to see the values as per the year wise. So here you should see the order date. So let me try to drag and drop the order date in the axis. So here you can see it is having the hierarchy. So it started with the year quarter, month and day. So I'm going to use the year. So that is fine to me. After that inside the value have the order quantity. So we can drag and drop the order quantity right here. So now here you can see we are having all these countries by individual lines. So in the X axis it is having the years. So like you can see 2011, then 2012, 2013 and 2014 and in the y-axis that is our order quantity so as I have already told you now I just want to do the formatting of this line chart so go to on the format and here first of all you can see the legend so legend that is you can see the title is our left top after that the legend like country names and here it is having the colors and country names so if we want off this then that will be gone if we'll on this then we can see let me open this and here the position we can set the position where we want like we can set it at the bottom so it is moved on bottom let me make it on top center so it is in the top center after that go to on the next property that is our x-axis and y-axis so you can leave it and you can go to next in the data colors so basically in data colors you can set the individual color for individual countries like for australia we want a red color then for canada we want dark green i guess in the france we can set light yellow in the germany we can set something else and for UK we can select as black so here you can see we are having particular color for individual countries so we can make the changes and set our color according to our requirement next will be the data labels so this is very important let me on this so here you can see the values in the points where we are having the years like here you can see the Australia in the year of 2012 that is 892 so it is having the values over there but it, it is in the thousands we don't want to see the values in the thousands we want to see the exact value so let me expand that here in the display unit you can put as none so it will have the exact values go to on the next property that might be shapes so let me expand that and here you can see the joint type it is around you can make the changes as you want and next here you can see the line style so line style it is solid you can put it as dash so it is having the dash lines and you can make it as dotted so it will have the dotted lines now here you can see the so marker so basically where we are having these values at the point of years we don't have any marker we can enable the marker and now it is having the dot you can make the change 
like if you want this rectangle then we can use it if you want this star then we can also use that here you can increase the size of that marker like here you can see this now go to our next property so here you can see the step so here it is raising like from point 1 to point 2 like this but if you want to see in the stepped order then you can on this and this will be changed like this so it will go straight then again upward then straight then again upward like that but i am not going to use this so we can off this in the customize series you can set all these properties for any particular country so i am not going to cover that part next you can set the title so here you can see order quantity by year and country name if you want then you can make the changes right here and other properties you will look on your own and if you will have any doubt then you can drop the question on the comment box so i will respond on that thank you so much guys for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos thank you so much